Hello there. Today I want to talk about SCPI Python and the SDS804XHD oscilloscope. I'll show you how to install it and also explain what it is. SCPI stands for Standard Controls for Programmable Instruments. So what that means is there's a vast array of laboratory equipment that will be able to be controlled via commands like this. And this SDS-804XHD is one of them, but also my key site behind me also is able to be controlled via that same command interface as well. Now it may be over LAN, RS-232, or USB. So I'll bring up a fresh install of Windows so we can see how to do this. All right, I wanted to start off fresh so that you can see how it's done from the beginning. So nothing is installed on this at all. And what we'll do is we'll bring up Google. And we'll search for Python for Windows. All right, and Python releases for Windows, that's good. And we will go for a stable release over here. Which is right now, currently 3.13.0. I'll go ahead and click Use Admin Privileges and add python.exe to path, both those, and then install now. It'll take a minute or two. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to grab a file quickly. Okay, the setup is finished. That's good. Go ahead and hit close there. And I'm just going to paste a file I've already made here. And also, I'm going to open the command prompt. So I'm going to go to start, type in cmd, right click and run as administrator. All right, well, I'm going to change directory to the desktop. OK, so one other thing we're going to do before we run the script is we're going to type in pip install py visa dash py and then hit enter. And that's going to download and install a module, which is the Python Visa module. This is what we'll use to communicate with the oscilloscope or whatever instrument you may have in mind. OK. So now I can right click on here. Let's see, show more options. I'll edit with idle here. That will be OK. All right, so this is a script I've already made up. And I've got this already set up to connect to the oscilloscope via TCP IP at this IP address here. OK, if I was doing it via USB, I would um, go and look up on the scope system information. And then I'd use this USB ID here, which is basically an address, and then your scope serial number, and then instrument. It would replace that line in the Python script file. But I'm doing it over TCP IP, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. But you get the idea. There would also be a slightly different format for RS-232, for example. Um, but the scope only has two possible options, which is USB or TCP IP. Let me explain what's going on here. Um, Python's a high-level programming language. Um, some people might argue it's a scripting language. It doesn't really matter. You can do neat things with it, and it, it works pretty good. Nobody will argue about that. So up here, we're importing a couple of things. We're importing sys, and we're importing PyVisa as Visa. So we're basically loading two modules in the script here. The sys we're loading in for um, a file writing command, and the PyVisa is for communicating with the scope. Uh, the thing I like about Python is it's fairly easy to understand and it can quickly make sense to you. So it's a really great thing to learn. So I've got a 
statement here for the SDS 804 equals visa dot resource manager open resource which opens the instrument. So anytime I type in this SDS 804, it is interpreting that and placing it where I've got it listed here. So uh, the other thing we've got going on too is I've got a file open command which is going to basically create a new file because there's not an existing one. Uh, and it's going to write that with this printed information here and then close the file right here. And it's also going to repeat that printed in the command shell as well. So basically any print command that is issued between this line and this line is going to be printed to the text file. Anything after that line is going to be printed on the command prompt, if that makes sense. There's lots of resources for Python out there, so there is a plethora of information to look up and you can see and learn. Very useful stuff to know. And also there is another thing too. You can also you can also go to the SCPI on the scope here and you can enter these commands identically in here. Alright, so you can see here trying to get these displayed at the same time if Windows cooperates with me and my mouse. So you can see I've got these queries for the SCPI commands and you can also, uh, anything in these quote lines you can also type in here through the web browser so you can use this too. So if I, for example, type in here asterisk id and question mark I can submit that and then that will print out the identification information down here as well. So just goes to show you can use all these commands in here. Uh, same with the scope ID. You do scope ID question mark. And that will print out your ID. And then same for the MCBD. The MCBD is the basically the, uh, the key installed to identify the scope is S8, 824, 804, or whatever. So I'm just going to query that MCBD question mark. And that will print that out. I've just shown you all three of those commands can work um, via this web interface as well. Then I'll exit that window. And what we're going to do in the command prompt, we're going to type get info.py. And I'll also include this uh, script in the description so you can see and play with the code. Python is a very handy thing to learn and very useful. Also, getting into programming um, serial commands based on a response from a channel or something like that. Lots of useful stuff there. So it's definitely worth looking into. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter there. Okay, and that printed out my scope information. And you also notice over here, there is a scope info text file. So it also printed out the information to that file as well. So yeah, you can see the information is also here. Pretty neat. Uh, all in uh, running that script. I mean, you can also turn on channels. You can get measurement information, stuff like that. So, it, you know, you can do many, many things uh, via a CPI, and it's a pretty handy thing to learn about. Hopefully you learned a little bit there, but that's basically pretty much it. Learning how Python and standard commands for programmable instruments works, it's pretty neat to learn and very useful. And Python's a very useful skill to have as well. So hopefully that teaches you a couple things that you can put into use. You can do all kinds of things and, and think of neat things to do. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.